Hello everyone, this is Dr. W.H. Pennywitt. I'm coming to you from the Pennywitt Center for Counseling and Education in Hearst, Texas. To those of you that don't know, that is a suburb of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. It's really hot outside today. It's going to be even hotter the next couple of days, but it's nice and cool in this therapy suite. And if you have any difficulties that we can help you with, give us a call, 817-898-0490 call us or contact us fortworthchristiancounseling.com or dallaschristiancounseling.com if you have problems we have answers did you know that of the five temperaments the choleric temperament and this is either an inclusion control or affection is one of the most colorful temperaments that we have as far as being an authority and taking charge as far as leadership the choleric temperament is the number one temperament that there is. If you've got something that needs to be done and nobody's ever done it before, a choleric, especially in the area of control, a choleric can get the job done and get a job and get the job done well. But there's one difficulty that every choleric faces. And if you're a choleric, I'm sure you've dealt with this many times in your life. The choleric will tend to use people as tools to get the job done. Now, cholerics, they're very colorful, charismatic people. They're people magnets. They can draw people to themselves anywhere they go. But the problem is, by getting that job done, as good as the choleric can do it, and there's nothing a choleric can't do if he or she puts her mind to it, the difficulty is the people that they use to help them get the job done end up resenting them. They end up being hurt emotionally, uh, sometimes physically. But there is a way around that for the choleric to be one of the best leaders that God has ever created. Give us a call, 817-898-0490, fortworthchristiancounseling.com, dallaschristiancounseling.com, and let's help get your future started.